guys, welcome back. Today we have another video. It's going to be about my crown. Yes, my natural hair journey. We'll have my sister behind the scenes asking questions. Hey you guys, my name is Eva. So let's go ahead and get started. Why did you get started with your um, natural hair? How did you get started and why did you do it? Well, you're not going to believe this guys, but this right here was an accident. I was, I used to get my hair done often. I love braids, um, cornrows, plaits, stuff of that nature. So, I usually get my hair done, leave it about for four weeks, take it out, wash my hair, and get it done like three days later. So, so happened, two years went by, and I kept doing this process, kept doing this process. So, this is what it looked like. Two years of no perms or relaxers. So what kind of hairstyles were you doing? Protective hairstyles or like? Yes, I was doing protective hairstyles. Like I said, plaits, cornrows. All right. So what kind of product are you using um, nowadays to keep your hair moisturized? Products. One of my favorite products is Cantu. I love their line of products. Um, one of my biggest challenges when I first started was keeping my hair hydrated, keeping it moisturized. So, here's a little trick to keep it moisturized. After you have the shower, after you finish washing your hair, do not just go automatically put oil. You have to moisturize it. I use a leave-in conditioner. While my hair is damp, I use a leave-in conditioner and I use oil to seal it. That's the key. And black castor oil is amazing. You can also use coconut oil, um, olive oil, just as long as it's virgin oil how long does it take to do your hair on a on a daily basis like what is the routine how long is the process Whew. for natural hair you need some strong arms um after i get out the shower i usually you know detangle it some more i oil it i put moisturizer i do all that and then i do a protective style i can either do a protective style it's how long does it take you to get ready in the morning when you have natural hair compared to when you had relaxed hair? Like, what's the process? Whew. It takes much longer. But my trick is I do the night before. So, after I take my hair out, my protective style out, I wash my hair, you know, like I said, moisturize it, oil it, and then I'll do another style. And it usually takes about, I'll say an hour, because I have to fetch my hair off. And it depends on braiding myself. You gotta have really strong arms because just section the hair. When I got a perm, I split, 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 and rock, and gone. I usually have to do two point tails one in the middle, and then I put all the way around and do a point tail mm. to make it look like I got some hair. So, yeah, my, so my next question is let's talk about shrinkage. Like, is it you have really bad shrinkage, like most people talk about, or I don't know, how is your hair process? Well, I do really have bad shrinkage. Look, check this out, guys. One thing I can say is that me dyeing my hair, I dyed my hair burgundy, it really changed my curve patterns. So if I, my hair was all the way black, if it was in natural state, it would have been more compact. But um, dyeing my hair really changed my curve patterns and it's not as shrink as it used to be. What would you say your hair texture is? Like, what kind of hair texture do you have? I say I'm between a 4C and maybe a 4Z. 